Magandang araw mga bata! Ako si Ma'am Regine, ang teacher mo sa math. Today we will be learning about measuring quantities. This is a lesson for grade 7 mathematics, quarter 2, lesson 1 to 2. Kaya tara na, and let's do the math. Measurement is a number that characterized an object or event which can be compared with other objects or events. Meron tayong two known systems of measurement, pero bago pa tayo magkaroon niyan, meron tayong tinatawag na non-standard system of measurement using the parts of the body. Non-standard kasi iba-iba siya, it varies from one person to another. Pwede natin gamitin ang mga susunod for non-standard system of measurement. Ito ang tinatawag natin na handspan or dangkal sa Tagalog. Yung kanyang measurement ay mula sa tip ng little finger hanggang sa tip ng thumb. Pag inextend mo siya, yun ay ang ating handspan. Cubit naman ay mula sa ating elbow hanggang sa tip ng ating middle finger. Yun ang cubit. Stride or pace naman ay yung isang hakbang. Footspan ay yung isang talampakan. Yard ay mula sa center or middle of the body hanggang sa tip of the middle finger. Isang gamit nitong non-standard system of measurement ng yard na ito ay napapansin ko yung sa palengke pag uibili ka ng mga garter. Napapansin ko na kapag walang measuring stick, yung isang tendahan, ang sukat nila per yard ay ganito. Kaya lang, syempre, depende siya dun sa tendera kung gano'n siya kahaba. Ito yung ating tinatawag na yard. Non-standard ito. Yung example na iyon ay isang paggamit ng non-standard system of measurement. Para maging mas accurate ang ating measurement, dapat gagamit tayo ng measuring tools. Some of the units sa non-standard system of measurement ay na-derive din at ginagamit sa ating ng system of measurement which is the English system. Pero this time, meron na siyang specific na sukat. Tulad nitong yard, meron ding yard sa English system. Meron ding inch, meron ding foot. However, sa English system, iyong tatlong yun ay may specific na katumbas na sukat. Hindi siya depende na sa body part. English system of measurement is widely used until the 1800s by the USA and the UK. It has basic units for certain quantities. Dito sa Philippines, gumagamit din tayo ng English system of measurement dahil lil tayo ay nasakop once ng mga Americans. Aside from English system, we also have what we call the metric system. Itong metric system, it only became the most used system of measurement by the 1900s. And this is first described by the Belgian mathematician Simon Stephen in his booklet, The Diende or The Art of Tents. Dahil ang metric system ay nakabase sa per tents, kada sampu yung kanyang bilang. And this system of measurement was proposed to be used by the English philosopher John Wilkins. It was first adopted by France in 1799 and marami nang sumunod mga countries na gumagamit ng metric system. Dito sa Philippines, ginagamit din natin ang metric system, yung mga units niya. Modern metric system is also known as the International System of Units or SI. SI dahil ito yung kanyang French na pangalan, System International Unité or International System of this system of measurement was released by General Conference on Weights and Measures because they were tasked to define the different measurements. And by 1960, nilabas nila itong SI. At ito na yung ginagamit natin throughout and across every country. Here are some of the units of measure for both metric and English. Ito yung mga quantities na ating sinusukat. We have length, volume, mass, temperature, time, capacity, and angle. Meron silang mga units of measure sa metric and English. So, for metric, yung length ay meron siyang meter and so on. 
So, English, ito yung inch, foot, yard, mile, and so on. Marami pang iba. For volume, sinusukat natin ito sa metric ng cubic meter, cubic centimeter. Ito naman yung katumbas niya sa English. For mass, sinusukat natin yan. Ito yung mga unit of measurement natin. Ito naman sa English. Temperature, ito yung ating unit of measure. For time, papansin natin na pareho yung ating unit of measure for both metric and English system. Capacity, more on liter kapag metric. Ito naman sa English. And for angle naman, pareho lang naman na degree and radian yung ginagamit natin for both metric and English system. These are some of the units of measure under these quantities na ating sinusukat. And that's it for our video for today, mga bata. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ang Teacher Mo Sa Math, for more grade 7 mathematics content. And please also keep on liking and sharing our videos para mas marami pa akong mga grade 7 na bata na tulad mo ang maabot at maturuan dahil ako si Ma'am Regine, Ang Teacher Mo Sa Math.